Yes, I'm very excited. All branches going together to fight one man, me. So many people frightened of me. It's amazing. More amazing will be when they fail to win against me, and the Russian branch of Foundation will be wiped from the face of the Earth. Andre Duxin. <laughs> oh, let's talk about the Russian trademark situation. <laughs> So I've been in correspondence with Osibist. I might not be pronouncing that name right, but he's one of the Russian uh, wiki's administrators. I've been talking to this person recently. Uh, I was attempting to set up an interview, but I, none of the Russian administrators were comfortable with a voice interview, and I didn't feel like a, reading a text interview would be good. So I decided to put together my own video with a little bit of details that I picked up from our conversations. First of all, we should probably go over some of the basics of where this problem originated. I did do a video a while back on this topic. Uh, I'll go over just like a quick summary so you understand what the situation is without having to go back and watch the old video. Though if you'd like to watch the old video, that's perfectly fine too. There'll be a link in the description. Essentially, a fellow named Andre Duxin registered a trademark with the Eurasian Customs Union, which is a customs union that covers Russia and a few ex-Soviet states in Central Asia. He actually, he, he trademarked this. I'm going to put it on the screen right now because he doesn't actually have a trademark on it. And you know what? Who cares? He trademarked the logo and essentially the title and tagline. All that, that This particular image is exactly what we're talking about here. He registered a trademark because he creates something called an art SCP book. He has his own... <laughs> has his own Patreon uh, set up for this particular project, which I believe has $5 in donations right now. So, you know, he's doing real well. Maybe he's got more now. I don't know. But last I looked, it had $5 in Patreon back in. Oh, God. It's it's amazing what a single per how much trouble a single person with no following can actually cause for the SCP Wiki. But anyway, he registered that trademark and has been using it to shut down uh, Russian uh, Russian creators who are, are selling uh, SCP content, like, say, uh, you know, products with SCP logo on it. He's saying he owns a logo. They can't do that anymore. Now, obviously, this is a threat to the SCP Foundation, not just in Russia, not just in the countries covered by the Eurasian Customs Union, but it, worldwide, because if he can enforce it there, he can start to enforce it elsewhere. I talked a lot in the old video about how he can't possibly, he can't possibly trademark all that stuff because, heck, the image that he's trying to trademark includes something from an Adobe suite. So it's like he's trademarking something that is owned by a person, not even ignoring the Creative Commons element, which is a serious issue in and of itself. The central logo of the SCP Foundation is adapted for, what is it, electrostatic sensitive equipment? Warnings? That's what the little arrow is pointing inward means? Anyway. So, what has happened now that has everyone all up in arms? Because we have, you've seen the videos, you've seen the tweets, you've seen the big, bold announcements on the websites about what is happening and how we have to support the SCP Wiki in this moment. And it's absolutely true. He's done more now than just go after people who are creating products in the Eurasian Customs Union. He is now going after the Russian wiki branch itself. I have several messages now that are sent directly from Andre Duxin to Osibist. I should mention the quote at the top of the episode here. It was actually something from uh, VK, which is like a Russian social media platform, very, very similar to Facebook. I don't know if it's a part of Facebook or not. I haven't actually looked into that, but regardless, it's essentially Russian Facebook. We'll call it that. So it started off with him taking down the SCP Russian branch uh, VK social media presence and basically saying that since he had a trademark on the SCP logo, they were not allowed to have an independent social media presence. And he actually succeeded in that because he has a trademark in uh, the Eurasian Customs Union. He was able to use that to leverage uh, them off of their platform and they lost their uh, they lost their social media uh, presence in on VK. So, that said, uh, there have been a number of back and forth messages. I have several of them right now I'm going to read to you, and I'm, <laughs> I'm going to include a silly and completely unenforceable, <laughs> completely unenforceable preface that he included in most of his messages. Not all of them, even, but most of them. 
Um, this message is exclusively for Dimitri Zelton and may contain confidential information. Any unauthorized consideration, use, or disclosure of information from this message is strictly prohibited. This rule should be applied not only to this message, but also to all further correspondence. Finally, I managed to stir you up and prompt you to action. I assumed that the girl from 1C does not know how to keep secrets, and the letter will leak into the net. Given the confidential nature of the letter and the annotation about the inadmissibility of the disclosure of information, because remember guys, if you say it, that makes it true. It's like magic words. All the potential financial damage from the disclosure will fall on her, and she herself, of course, will be fired. But in the big game, you have to sacrifice pawns, don't you? The main thing is that I now will finally get a lawsuit concerning the trademark, which I have been waiting for so long, and it will be possible to proceed to the final stage of this story. Please don't be long. Sincerely, Andre. And you're going to see in most of his messages that I have, I have here, he is doing his best um, cheesy villain impression. <laughs> I mean... This man, and the funny part is that, like, this is his private inform. This is, like, how he speaks to the people behind the scenes. And then in front of the scenes, he tries to do his best to be like, absolutely not. I am a huge fan. I'm so glad to see the SAP community coming together over this. It's, you know, it is so great. Mo most of the time. There's a couple of times where he's actually publicly also said stuff that sounds like a supervillain. <laughs> a bad supervillain at that. He's the trademark troll. The supervillain we didn't know we needed. Uh, another one. Just in case I'll duplicate the introduction. It says it again. This message is exclusively <laughs> blah, 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 blah. This is only the beginning, my friend. You've picked an opponent too strong for you. But I'm always ready for trade-off if people talk to me nice and not starting a conversation from depreciative article. That's a little bit of a, probably a poor translation there. Uh, probably it's more like, and not starting a conversation from a depreci- like, from an insulting perspective. I'm thinking maybe that's what that means. You can suggest some solution for a problem, and I think about whether I'll accept it or decline it. You have no chance to win, but you have a chance to save the day and avoid being defamed. If you don't offer a wise solution for the current situation, resolving which will fully satisfy me in the next 24 hours, your site will become your next loss. And by the way, this is directed at an administrator of the SCP Russian wiki branch. So this is literally him telling them that they don't do something that he wants. He is going to try and enforce his trademark on their wiki. And after the site, we will come after you as an individual who will have to pay me for massive property loss, which is proved by my pack, by a pack of official documents. Sincerely, Andre. This is just, do what I want or I will make you pay. This is uh, silliness. And about, tw oh, wow, uh, 24 hours and 15 minutes later. So he he was serious about his deadline. Man, this guy was not messing around. Tick tock, tick tock. This is clock finished the countdown. You're late, pal. Sorry. You know, I even feel bad for you a bit. All this crowd of maddening children they're making you take responsibility and act according to the office you hold they completely have no idea that your position is nominal and you're the same common man just like they there would be no harm and no consequences for them but for you yeah you'll pay with your own well-being due to these circumstances maybe it's a little unfair because you might be a good guy but you've got into this situation so you've ended up in a stalemate my condolences, bro. This motherfucker right here, man, I tell you what. And finally, one, one last message, which was sent uh, a little bit. It was sent, I believe, during the time period where he was waiting. It was not actually sent to Osobist. It was sent to someone else who was asking him what he needed to do to solve this problem. Essentially, what is really important, that my claims, here they are. Dimitri Zelton must record a video where he apologizes to me and my project on the SCP Foundation Russian branch main page should appear artscp.com button. He wants Osibist to record a video apologizing for his behavior. He wants the SCP Foundation Russian branch to put a link to his project, his art SCP project, 
on their main page. And then he wants, and then he honest to God wants them <laughs> to make him a master administrator. I should receive an SCP Foundation Russian branch master administrator flag. <laughs> If, he, if, if they do all of those things, he'll dissolve the trademark and won't destroy the current SCPRU site. Everything is simple. I mean, this is what we're dealing with here. This this in incredibly insane demands. It's just... Anyway. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I wanted to get this stuff out here because it's important not just to know, like, because, you know... People are telling you generically, there's a problem. We need your help and support to deal with this. And this is the reason why there is there was a GoFundMe. It is a GoFundMe. It should be mentioned it's actually fully funded. But anything, but let me say this. They asked for $50,000. I feel like that's probably too low. I feel like that is almost certainly not going to be enough to deal with current legal fees. Uh, and straight up, this is going to happen again. And, the, oh, and right now it says very clearly that any additional funds will go towards future legal cases. I don't think they're going to have enough to deal with this legal case. 50000 is it's modest. It's a modest ask. And they managed to get it in 48 hours, so I was quite impressed with that. I highly suggest, and there will be links in the description as well again, to the uh, GoFundMe page. Uh, any advertisements from this, or I think any of my last two videos for the first 30 days are going to go towards uh, that legal fund as well. Uh, we're just going to try and dump as much money in there as possible because they are going to need it. It's funny, this guy has absolutely nothing to stand on. He is absolutely going to lose if this goes to court because he has no real legal case to be made and there's so much against him but it's still going to cost money because that is how the court systems work in this world they've got to hire lawyers there's got to be people paid for hourly uh billings and all this other oh, it's gonna be such a mess i do not uh envy the scp wiki for having to deal with this but it's got to be dealt with first of all if just for the case that we got to save the scp russian wiki we say to each other Hey, we're all going to be operating under the exact same license, and if something goes wrong with you, we got your back. Well, we need to have their back now. This guy is trying to... <laughs> I, I, I hesitate to use the word extort. Extort is a very strong word with a very specific legal uh, ramifications to it, and I'm not going to say that he's trying to extort anybody, but he's definitely putting pressure on these people to get what he wants, and... He has no basis to do so. I'm willing to say that. This guy. This guy. Oh boy. I'll be moving back to regularly scheduled content on Thursday. Well, technically it won't be regularly scheduled because I'm pushing today's video to Thursday so I can do this as early as possible. So on Thursday, you're going to see my Dank Memes from Site19 video, which will almost certainly be, be like 90% Andre Duxon means, but we'll, go, we'll we'll deal with that when the time comes. I haven't actually looked at them yet. Uh, <laughs> I've, Yasi, uh, uh, one of the administrators of the uh, subreddit, actually compiles the lists for me, and uh, he's put together a list, and he said it, it, there's a lot in there. And uh, I'll just skip one. I was going to do another Let's Play of SCP Containment Breach this week. We're just going to skip that for this week, and we'll start doing it again uh, two weeks from now. So... It was great talking to you guys. Uh, this is very, very important. Thank you very much for watching, letting us know that we're not alone out here. And I'll see you on Thursday.